Google just made an under the radar update to Notebook LM, and I've been using it in a way that I haven't really seen anyone talk about yet. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Notebook LM. Notebook LM has been available for a while, and a lot of people, including myself, have been sleeping on it. Because to be frank, until recently, Google was playing catch up to all the other major AI players like OpenAI, Anthropic, etc. And over the last month, everything has changed, and Google is now doing very well. From hitting the top of the LMSYS leaderboard, to releasing Gemini 2.0, to demoing their newer text-to-video model, VO, and giving us an experimental version of their thinking model. I made a video about that somewhere here. So, Notebook LM is a tool by Google. It's essentially a research tool slash assistant that's great for studying. It's awesome for learning. Essentially, what it can do is ingest various types of content, be it text, PDF, voice recordings, websites, YouTube videos, and more. And then you can chat with them summarize them and get great insights. Now you might be saying, well, I can do all that with RAG. And for those that don't know, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. And that's the way that we've been sharing our knowledge until now with LLMs, which stands for large language models like ChatGPT, Claude, etc. You know what? I think I'm just gonna make a video on all the AI terminology because I know it could get confusing and I often find myself re-explaining these terms. Let me know if you want a video on that. Anyways, so we've been using RAG for a while now and it's very powerful, but for the most part, RAG could only take in text, whereas Notebook LM could take in a variety of content formats. And they also use other AI tricks to make it super powerful. It's really cool. And you might've already seen or heard about its most popular feature, where you can create a podcast with two hosts based on your content. And this has been all over the place, all over the internet. It's really cool. I've seen open source versions of this, and even Eleven Labs recently released a competition for this. Now, the reason that Notebook LM got so good all of a sudden is that Google released Gemini 2.0, and when they connected it to Notebook LM, it just got that much better. And now, they just released a new beta feature to their podcast feature, which is really cool. They now let you interact with the podcast as a caller like you're calling in. And essentially, it allows you to interrupt and interact with the podcast. It's similar to the way ChatGPT's advanced voice mode allows you to talk and interrupt. It's so cool. And the reason that I really love this is that with advanced voice mode from ChatGPT, you can't chat with it about your documents or your knowledge base, like with custom GPTs, for example. But with Notebook LM, you can. So I'm gonna tell you how I've been using it, but first I have to give you some personal context. I'm a volunteer medic, an EMT. At home, I have a backpack with gear and a walkie-talkie. And when I'm on call, I respond to emergencies within 10 to 15 minutes of my location. Because where I live, on average, it takes about 15 minutes for an ambulance to show up. And when you're dealing with those serious emergencies, you don't have 15 minutes to wait. Also, currently, my fiance is sick. So we're traveling around for treatment, and that's why I'm going from hotel room to hotel room. Everything's gonna be okay, we're very positive, and she's on the way out of it. We are on the way out of it. So over the last year, due to our situation, because I can't afford to be around sick people, I haven't been able to go out into the field. But it's very important for me to stay sharp, to remember the material, and practice scenarios. So at first, I would use Notebook LM to go over my study materials. But now with this new feature, I'm able to use Notebook LM to run through complex scenarios and stay up to date. It's really cool. Now, I want to say this before I go any further. You should never take any medical advice from AI, at least not yet. Because remember, LLMs have a tendency to hallucinate. If you don't know what hallucinate means in terms of AI, by this point, watch out for my coming video on AI terminology. I think I'm gonna do it. Also, it's really important for me to say that I am in no way giving medical advice. Atala, the organization I work with, is not connected to this video at all. Okay, without further ado, let me show you Notebook LM. First, I'll show you how to set it up, and then I'm gonna show you how I've been using it for practicing my EMT stuff. Okay, so this is Notebook LM. This is with an account I haven't set up yet. You're able to upload documents. I'm just gonna show you, you press create, and right away, you're just able to add sources. So marketing plans, course reading, research notes, meeting transcripts, sales documents, whatever. And it's not just documents, like you could connect it to Google Drive, or Google Slides, you could put in YouTube videos, you could put in full websites, and yeah, so you could add up to 50 sources per notebook. That's a lot. And one of the things that Google and Gemini have always had an upper leg on, Claude and ChatGPT, is they have a two million token context window. Also, you see here it supports PDFs, text files, markdown, audio, like any voice notes. It's crazy what you could put in here. So I'm just gonna add one source to show you how it works and I'm just gonna add my resume, why not? So in here, you're able to talk with your sources. So again, the only source we have here is my resume. Here is where you're able to add a podcast. And what you do is you're able to add custom instructions by the customize button or you pr just press generate and it'll make a podcast. Now, this takes some time depending, especially on how many sources you add. So this may go quickly. I'm not gonna do it right now, but you should play with it, it's really cool. Okay, so now let's go into my use case. And in this notebook, I only added one source. 
It's a big file. It's all of my notes for my EMT training course. It's the final review before I started taking all the exams to become a licensed medic. So here's my EMT notes and practice. And here I only added a single source. This is my final review. This is my study guide. This is a very, very long document where I compiled all my notes for the whole course that I studied before I could become a licensed medic. Now, what I did here is I already pressed generate podcast. I'm just going to play with it. But I'm not even going to press play right now because I want to show you the new interactive mode that I was telling you about. So you should click here. So I'm going to press play and then I'm going to start interacting with it. All right. Welcome in, everyone. Ready for another deep dive. Today, we're going deep into something uh, pretty intense. Actually, the training materials that Hatsala Medics use. Yeah, it's serious stuff. It's not just like your average first aid course, you know. We're talking about equipping people to handle real life or death situations. Exactly. And going through these materials, it's like, wow, you really get a sense of just how incredible and fragile the human body is, you know? It's a real crash course in anatomy and physiology, that's for sure. Oh, wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Okay, so I want to throw a theoretical scenario at you, and you're going to help me try and figure out what's going on. So it's the morning, and you approach, a, you get a call about a boy, a man. He's about in his 30s. He's well-dressed, but he's acting kind of out of it, kind of confused, a bit aggressive, almost like he's drunk. Now, he has a friend with him. He doesn't really. This friend doesn't really know him. He says he thinks he takes some medicine, but he's not sure. His eyes look fine. The the guy doesn't look like he has any trauma. It doesn't look like he has any hits. And we're trying to figure out what's happening. So what do you think? That's a really interesting scenario, and I like that you're thinking this through with us. Yeah, it's a great way to see how these training materials could be applied to a real life situation. So first off, the fact that he's well dressed but acting strangely—that's kind of a red flag. It suggests that whatever is going on, it's probably not a typical intoxication scenario. Right. And the confusion, aggressiveness, that could point to a few things? Well, based on the material we've been looking at, we could consider things like hypoglycemia. Oh yeah, low blood sugar can make people seem drunk, or just generally out of it. The fact that the friend isn't sure about his medication history, that raises some questions too. Yeah, especially if he might be diabetic. It's important to remember that the source material says that a diabetic patient can appear drunk. Exactly. So checking his sugar levels would definitely be one of the first steps. Okay, so it got it. I guided it to it. I gave it all the facts because basically when you're out in the field, you have to take all the different clues. You have to piece all the pieces together, look at the surroundings, look at any signs. So anyways, that was just one use case. But as you saw, as I gave Notebook LM my knowledge base, and also some clues they were able to deduct that this person in this theoretical scenario was not drunk or having a drug overdose. In fact, they were hypoglycemic. It got it. It's really cool. So I have to say that it feels not just like a regular LLM. Like this does have to do some deductive reasoning here, but... I think this is really cool. The last thing I want to tell you is that Notebook LM is free. There is a paid version. I don't use it. I'm actually getting along very good with the regular Notebook LM. All you need is a Gmail account or Google account. I suggest giving a shot. I'm sure you could find a personal use case or a use case for your business. There's so many things you can do with this. It's really, really cool. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you learned something. If you haven't done so already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's a no cost way to show support and help me grow. And I just need to emphasize one last time that you should never take emergency medical advice from me on YouTube or anyone on YouTube. And you should not take it from an AI, at least not yet. We're not there yet. If there's an emergency or you need medical advice, you should see a doctor. You should see someone that's licensed for that. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.